So in this video, we are going to see a clear connection between Catholicism, the Baphomet, which is the image for the Church of Satan, as well as the Greek god Pan and Peter Pan. We're going to see a clear connection between these things here in this video. But before we do so, let us bow for a word of prayer. Loving Father, we ask for your Holy Spirit that, number one, your word might be understood and that your word would be received into our hearts by faith, that we would live out the scriptures, not just be a hearer, but that we would be doers of thy holy word. We thank you for enabling us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. So notice here in the scriptures, we're in Proverbs 6, verse 12 and 13. The Bible says, A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, he teacheth with his fingers. Notice it said that he teacheth with his fingers. And God doesn't put anything in his word by chance. If we look at the image of the Baphomet here, we're going to see the two fingers held out prominently as some type of hand sign or hand gesture. Uh, and then if we were to look at one of these pictures here of the Pope, we see again the hand held out prominently in the same fashion as in the image of the Baphomet. Let's come back to the Baphomet. We see here the hand signal. Let's look at another picture of the Pope with the hand signal here, just as in the statue for the Church of Satan. All right, let's look at another picture of another Pope with the same hand gesture. Same hand gesture here. Come back to the Baphomet. Let's look at the Baphomet again. See the, the hand gesture. But take note that at the bottom of the image, you have a little boy and a little girl. A little boy and a little girl. And we know that the Catholic Church has been plagued recently with many child sex abuse cases and the issue of homosexuality and pedophilia that is going on within the Catholic Church. But yet we see another connection with that here with the image of the Baphomet. So recently, I think uh, just last week in Texas, there were nearly 300 priests that were named in specific child sex abuse cases. That was just last week. And obviously we know that this has been going on for centuries within the Catholic Church. Why? Why has pedophilia been going on for centuries. Well, clearly there is a connection between the Church of Satan and Catholicism. Notice what these other pictures show us concerning the popes, again, with their hand signals prominently just as in the statue of the Baphomet. Notice these other pictures here of various popes that reigned over the Catholic Church, all having the same hand gesture. Now, when you look at these pictures here of Jesus and the two figures, these are Catholic pictures of Christ. These are not pictures by your regular Christian. These are all by Catholic artists or specific pictures by the Catholic Church concerning Christ with the two fingers held out prominently. So, again, if you see these pictures with Christ and the two fingers held out, these are not true depictions of Christ. This is a perversion of Christ. This is a corruption of Christ. And when we understand the Baphomet, let's come back to the Baphomet. And notice here on his stomach, you see a two snakes wrapped around the pole. And this is exactly uh, the rod that the Pope carries. Look here. You have the Pope carrying a rod with... Two snakes wrapped around a pole, just like in the Baphomet. You know, that's not two. That's three identifying marks. Remember, the Bible says, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 1. So we have the hand signal held out prominently with the two fingers. We have the snake around the rod. And we also have the children, the pedophilia that is involved in the Catholic Church. Catholic Church has paid out nearly 
four billion dollars to child sex abuse victims ever since the 1980s. You know, articles have been released concerning this. And this is a serious matter that those who are either Catholic or following in the ways of Catholicism should really examine. Let's look at these other pictures here where we have Pope Francis bowing to Virgin Mary, you know, and the Bible is clear concerning us bowing to images. Notice what it says, Exodus 20, verse 4 and 5, in the commandments it says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. So God is telling us you should not create or make any image or idol. So the Baphomet is a violation of that, as well as the statues of Virgin Mary, the statues of Peter, of various quote-unquote saints within the Catholic Church. This is all a violation of the commandments. Now let's look at verse 5. It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So God says you should not bow down to these images, to these idols, to these statues. We are not to bow down to them. Very clear, very clear in the word of God. And so for Pope Francis to be bowing down to a statue of Virgin Mary is a clear violation of scripture, going contrary to the word of God when Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's what Jesus said. And the commandments tell us not to bow down to any graven image. Also, we'll see here other people within the Catholic Church bowing down to statues of Virgin Mary. This is a clear violation of scripture. And Jesus has told us in 1 John chapter 2 concerning those who claim to know God but do not do his commandments. Notice what he says, 1 John 2, verse 3 and 4. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. So the way that one demonstrates whether or not they truly know God is by keeping God's commandments. Then it says in verse four, he that saith, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So very clearly, you're a liar if you say you know God and you do not keep his commandments. The Bible says you are a liar. All right, let's move on. Greek god Pan. So we see the Baphomet. You have half goat, half man, right, on the Baphomet. Now let's look at pictures of Greek god Pan. You have half goat, see the horns, and a man. You know, half goat, another picture. Half man. You see the lower region with the legs of a goat. You know, another picture. Half man half goat. You know, this is demonic. You know, there is no such thing as a half man, half goat. This is obviously fiction, false gods that the Greeks were promoting. And this is where the Baphomet originated from. It's from Greek, from the Greeks, from Greece. And one of the things that I don't know if you noticed here is that you see the Greek god Pan with a flute. You see him with a flute. And when you understand the connection between Peter Pan and uh, the Greek god Pan, the Greek god Pan was the god of the wild, the god of nature. And Peter Pan dwells in the wild. He is familiar with nature. He knows animals. He has relationships with animals. And considering Greek god Pan is half man, half animal. Another point, uh, you see him with the flute. You see Greek god Pan with the flute. Also, Peter Pan has a flute. You know, these connections are not by chance. The Greek god Pan is a companion of nymphs. Likewise, Peter Pan is a companion of nymphs. When we look at the cover of the book here, you'll see that Peter Pan is riding a goat. Why does it have to be a goat? Likewise, the Greek god Pan is half goat, half man. This is the worship of nature. This is rooted in spiritualism. This is demonic in its origin. This has nothing to do with the things of God. And no Christian should have any involvement with such things. And so 
considering these connections, when you talk about Disney, you talk about you know these fairy tales and fiction, this is not for the Christian. These novels and various readings or books that are not based upon the Bible are not for the Christian, are not for the Christian. Whether it be a movie, whether it be a storybook, these things are not for the Christian. So considering that they are not for the Christian, what is the Christian to do? What does the Word of God say that we should do in these circumstances? Ephesians 5 and verse 11 says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. The Bible says have no fellowship at all. That means a complete separation. Come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. There's a condition. God can only receive you if you separate. Notice what he says in Revelation 18 and verse 4. He says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. God is saying, look, he doesn't want any of his children to be a partaker of the sins of the Catholic Church, of Disney, of the Greeks, of the Baphomet Church of Satan. God doesn't want you to be connected in any form or fashion with any of these churches. And he's saying, come out of her, my people, be separate and obey my Ten Commandments and follow my word. And as you follow the word of God, then you are following Christ. And so my prayer is that you will follow Christ. Jesus said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Will you follow Jesus today?